Allison Shaw from Megastar Financial, and she's here to talk to us about what is going on with the market. There's a lot of mixed messages out there, I think, right now, because as you know, the Fed lowered interest rates last week, and we have a lot of clients asking us, how does that really impact mortgage rates? So, yeah. Allison, tell us about the Fed lowering rates, but how that really impacts yeah. mortgage rates. So what people really don't realize is that the Fed cutting rates and actual mortgage interest rates are a totally different animal. So when we hear the Fed cuts rates by 1%, that does not mean interest rates have moved down by 1%. The secondary markets already foresee when those moves are going to happen. As we've seen in the news, we're already talking about them cutting the rates again. So the secondary markets are responding to those things and building it into their pricing long before it even happens because okay. they need to be held competitive too. And the, what the Fed rate is set at is not the raw pricing that we're going to end up seeing on the lender side of things. So totally different animals really what it boils down. Well, and that's why it's important to talk to someone like you so that you can explain exactly yeah. what it means. Yes. And of course, regular conventional rates are totally different than jumbo loans yes. or if someone was going to buy a, a an investment property or a second home? Tell us how those yeah. differ. So kind of the rule of thumb when you're looking at the different options, conventional rates are going to be closest to what you're seeing online in the news, things like that. If you're purchasing a condo, you can typically expect it to be 0.125% higher than a single family home. Don't let that scare you away though. <laughs> <laughs> if you're purchasing an investment property, it's going to be about 0.75% to 1% higher than a conventional loan. And then jumbo rates are going to move separate of conventional. Sometimes they could be more competitive than a conventional mortgage. Sometimes they could be significantly less competitive. It depends what the appetite of the secondary market is really showing at that point in time. Right now, jumbo rates are excellent. As this refinance boom continues on and banks get backed up, you're going to see that the rates are going to go up a little bit because they don't need the loans right now. So, okay. And a jumbo rate is anything above a $510,000 loan amount. Five ten. Okay. Okay. So what do you anticipate for the market the rest yeah. of the year? So we've had one of the strongest years we've had to the start of the year, just collectively, especially in the metro area. Interest rates are about 1% lower than they were six months ago. Um, and so besides this low inventory, we're thinking it's going to be continue to be a strong year. Good. So it's a good time to buy. Yeah. It's a great time to buy. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's your first home, whether it's an investment property, yeah. whether you're moving up or, or downsizing. And I think people forget too, with interest rates being low, that increases your purchasing power. So right. maybe if in the fall or when rates are a little higher, you could only purchase 300000 Well, maybe now you qualify for 325 because the rate really can make a swing in what you can purchase. Yeah, that's so. a big difference. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. So thanks for sharing.